Hello all, welcome to the new video. In this video, we will see about what is LTI system and what is convolution and next we will solve some examples. Coming to the LTI system, LTI stands for linear time invariant. Linear time invariant systems. We have seen that a system is an entity which takes certain input and produces a certain response. However, a system in order to classify it as linear time invariant system, it should obey certain properties and they are this is linearity. So what is linearity? If the input is scaled some Signal that is x1 of t is one signal, x2 of t is one signal, and these are the scaling factor. If this is given to the system, if the output is same as input, that is scaled in some function or the magnitude will be different, then this system is called a system which obeys linearity. This is linear system. In order to classify any system as a LTI system, it should obey linearity, which we have discussed. The second is it should obey time invariance property. That is, say so this is the system and this is the input and output. A system is said to obey time invariance property if the output doesn't depend on time I have discussed this in the previous video say if the input is 110 frequency and the output is if I multiply the frequency you think it will be 220 frequency this we have applied at 10 am suppose if we apply the same input at 2 am the system should produce 220 frequency if it obeys time invariance otherwise it is called time variance that is output depends on that time so uh, here we are dealing with just LTI systems so we assume that it obeys the following two properties so uh, make sure that uh, we are dealing with LTI systems so it is understood that they obey linearity and time invariance. We know that LTI system is also a system which obeys those two properties. So, uh, like there may be any input, input can vary. We can give a delta function, unit step, and whatever. One of the most fascinating thing about LTI system is we can predict the response if we know the certain response called impulse response so if we know the impulse response of LTI system this is LTI system so if the input is impulse so impulse is usually denoted by delta function so impulse is any signal which lasts for short amount of time so this is impulse plus like so just this is theoretical in practical cases this may be a impulse short period of time but this is applied to the LTI system we get certain response say h of t so if we know h of t beforehand we can predict the output of any signal let this be any signal we can predict the output if we know h of t so we have uh, the impulse response beforehand we know the impulse response of this LTI system suppose if we give input x of t to the system then how can we predict the response there is method called convolution so what this method says is if we convolution of input with impulse response provides the output 
we do not convolution by this time. So a continuous signal convolution is denoted uh, in this way. We can find by integrating this infinity to infinity. X of tau, H of T minus tau, D tau.